Finn's chilling with me while his mom's out of town. Finn did a board and train, and he was trained to retrieve. Now, the owner stopped using the e-collar, and dogs go south when you do that. Keep the e-collar on the dog. Use it. Make sure that the dog knows it needs to be compliant. I've got the dog being compliant. He's being compliant for me. We got the e-collar back on him. So we want, I want, when I, I spend individual time with each dog, if like he's just staying with me, he's not doing a board and train, but I spend time individually with each dog that, you know, it, do, it doesn't matter if it's my dog or someone else's dog. I'm going to spend time with them. So the time that I'm spending with Finn individually, I'm training him to catch a Frisbee. He's, he's going to do this. He's being awesome. So we have a problem in that he isn't being compliant. He isn't doing the retrieves. So what I want him to do is just hold the Frisbee. I'm going to step down there. I'm going to call him to heel, and I want to have him come and spin into heel and hold this. Because I need him to do that. If, I, if we're throwing the Frisbee and he's doing a retrieve, I don't need him dropping it 10 feet away. I'm not going to go pick it up. So we have to go over this and make sure that he knows that he needs to be compliant. So this drill looks something like this. Finn, heel. Come on, buddy, heel. Sit. Hold. No, hold. Heel. Hold. Sit. Drop. That's good. Good boy. Finn. Hold. Hold. Finn, heel. No, heel. Hold, sit, drop, that's good. Now that was success, that was success. We'll let it go right now and I'll come back out and we'll do this again in a, another session. He needs to start remembering this. They don't really, rem you know, their body sort of remembers. He's not supposed to drop it. If he wants to, wants to play Frisbee, he needs to play by the rules. The other thing that we'll be doing later is I'll bring out my dog Brewster and we'll do a little monkey see, monkey do and denial. So we'll, I'll put Finn over there and he'll have to stay sitting and I'll throw the frisbee to Brewster so that he gets an idea of what he gets to do if he's compliant. If your dog is doing any retrieve, it doesn't matter if it's a frisbee, a ball, whatever, and they're dropping it at your feet, it's totally unacceptable. They need to deliver the object to your hand. He's doing it. He'll do it. He will. I know, I know this guy. He's, he's awesome. He just sort of got out of practice. I'm telling you, if your dog was e-collar conditioned, you keep putting the e-collar on the dog. Don't use it real high up. Right now it's on 10, which is lower than a human can feel it. The other day we were working with, with objects and having him take the objects, you know, fr from my hand. And I think that I had it on one or two. I don't even think an infant human can feel that. Dogs sense the collar. Their skin is different at a lower level. Don't amp it up. That's not how the e collar is used. You don't want to be using pain, you know, forcing the dog into, into this by like, you know, this high pressure pain, punishment, whatever you're doing. Don't do that. You condition the e collar in real low. If I did get a refusal, I could use the e-collar by saying no and repeat the command. He's, he's awesome. Why, he'll, he'll catch it. I know he will, won't you, Finn? You're a good boy. He's a good boy. He's awesome, man. Little Finn. Finnington McGee. This dog hates Trump. He does. He hates Trump. Yeah, Trump's an asshole.